Hello, good morning, I hope you're fine. Child of God, there's this story that we were told as kids about a time when a pig and a chicken, a hen actually, were friends. So one morning they woke up and they were trying to do something for each other to show that they were truly friends and to show how much they were willing to sacrifice for each other. So the chicken suggested to the pig that let's make a breakfast that comes from ourselves, from something that will produce from our own bodies. And then the pig said, what could that be? And then the chicken said, let's make eggs and bacon for breakfast. That way I'll bring my eggs and then it would bring your meat and then we can have egg and bacon. And then the pig said, you don't realize that in giving the egg, you will still remain alive. But in giving my meat for the bacon, I'd be dead. Child of God, this morning, I'd like to talk about making sacrifices in friendship. The Bible says that God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son. The truth is, if you love someone, you're going to give. Jesus says that greater love than no, that has no man than this, and to lay down his life for his friends. The truth is, when we are friends with people, we're going to want to make sacrifices. We're going to want to do something for them to prove it. And we're going to expect also that they make some sacrifices for us. But then the cost of such sacrifices is important to take into account. Many women, for example, abandon their careers, abandon their lives, abandon their dreams to follow a man that they love. It also happens that many parents sacrifice their pleasure, their free times, their happiness to make sure that the children that they love get a good education. This is about the way we normally function. In today's readings, let's see how the Lord talks about these things. Our first reading is taken from Genesis chapter 22, from verses 1 to 19. Abraham, in this text, was a friend of God. He's our father in faith. So God wanted to test Abraham to see how much he was willing to sacrifice for their friendship. He asked Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac, and Abraham agreed. He took his son, 13 years old Isaac, and wanted to really sacrifice him. When God saw how much Abraham loved him and believed in him, he stopped him from killing Isaac and he provided a, 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 an animal for the sacrifice. Child of God, from this little story, here are two things I'd like to show to you. The first is what I already said at the beginning. When you love someone, you want to show it in the kind of sacrifice you're willing to make. In that regard, Abraham proved himself to be a worthy friend of God because he was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. A sacrifice that was going to cost him his posterity. Remember this time, Abraham was well over a hundred years. This was a child of the promise. He had sent Ishmael away. This was the only child he had to continue his future. That's exactly the point, child of God. Abraham was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice to prove his love and friendship for God. Now, on the other side of the coin, which is the second thing I want to show to you, is that when you're a friend of someone and you see that this person is making a huge sacrifice for the friendship, and you're in a position not to accept that sacrifice, you should be nice enough to say, no, thank you. I do understand that for many of us, we just keep enjoying what people are giving to us. I mean, I, as a priest, people want to give you things, people want to give you money. But I have sometimes had to say no, thank you to some people because I know what that is costing them. I do understand that accepting a gift from a friend, even though he or she is poor, can sometimes give them some sense of values. People find some joy in giving, it's blessedness in giving, that's okay. But at some point, at some point, you should also want to find out whether the cost of that gift that this person is giving to you is his future, is her future. So, child of God, it's important that we prove our love for people by the sacrifice we're willing to make. But on the other hand, we should also sometimes, sometimes be willing to say no, thank you. In our gospel reading of this morning, and this is where I end, in our gospel reading of this morning, we find a man, this gospel is taken from Matthew chapter 9, from verses 1 to 8. We find a man whose friends were willing to make a huge sacrifice to get him to Jesus. He was paralyzed. Uh, of course, we are in the Matthew's version, but in Mark's version, we read that the friends actually had to break the roof of the house to get the man to Jesus. And of course, Jesus says to the man, your sins, your many sins have been forgiven. Now, what I want to show to you here is the link between what Jesus says and what the Bible says elsewhere. The Bible says that charity covers a multitude of sins. What Jesus was effectively saying is that this man had been a charitable man in the past. He had been a good friend in the past. So his sins have now been forgiven because of the charity, because of the love he has shown in the past. And the proof of it is that some of the people to whom he had been nice, for whom he had made sacrifices, 
were now the ones in his own turn when he was now paralyzed who brought him to Jesus for healing. Child of God, it is good to receive in friendship, but also very important to give back. What are you giving back to your friends lately? Think about it and do some good for your friend today. It might pay off tomorrow. And even if it doesn't, it's worth it still. The mighty God bless and keep you today. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.